Hi. Peace be with you, everyone. So I look forward to you joining me. Thank you so much to all of you who have accepted to become subscriber to, to this YouTube channel. You're making a huge difference right now. So whether you want to watch this the whole time or not, you know, like uh, you're by subscribing, you're allowing the parishioners of my true, uh, true, three rural parishes to have access to a live stream on YouTube of the celebrations of Holy Week. So thank you. Thank you for being part of this and thank you for sharing it with others. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Be thou my vision, O Lord of my heart. Not be all else to me, save that thou art. Thou my best thought, by day or by night. Waking or sleeping, Thy presence, my light. Be thou my wisdom, and thou my true word. I ever with thee, thou with me, Lord. Thou my great Father, I thy true Son. Thou in me dwelling, and I with thee one. Riches I heed not, or man's empty praise. Thou mine inheritance, now and always. Thou and thou only first in my heart. I, King of heaven, my treasure thou art. I, King of heaven, my victory won. May I reach heaven's joys. O bright heaven's sun, heart of my own heart, whatever befall, still be my vision, O ruler of all. Night holds no terrors for me, sleeping under God's wings. He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High and abides in the shade of the Almighty, says to the Lord, my refuge, my stronghold, my God in whom I trust. It is he who will free you from the snare of the fowler who seeks to destroy you. He will conceal you with his pinions, and under his wings you will find refuge. You will not fear the terror of the night, nor the arrow that flies by day, nor the plague that prowls in the darkness nor the scourge that lays waste at noon. A thousand may fall at your side, ten thousand fall at your right. You, it will never approach. His faithfulness is buckler and shield. Your eyes have only to look to see how the wicked are repaid. You who have said, Lord, my refuge, and have made the Most High your dwelling. Upon you no evil shall fall, no plague approach where you dwell.
for you has he commanded his angels to keep you in all your ways. They shall bear you upon their hands, lest you strike your foot against a stone. On the lion and the viper you will tread and trample the young lion and the dragon. Since he clings to me in love, I will free him. Protect him, for he knows my name. When he calls, I shall answer, I am with you. I will save him in distress and give him glory. With length of life, I will content him. I shall let him see my saving power. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Night holds no terrors for me, sleeping under God's wings. Let's take a moment. I'm going to be asking questions and leaving a moment of silence between each of these questions so that you can ask yourself. It's a, an examination of conscience to present our soul before the Lord. In what moment of this day have I encountered God? Have I somehow come in across His healing grace, His wise insights, His consolation of any kind? His holy and good consolations. I take a moment to identify those moments. And what is it that they arrive from this? What is God saying to me? Where in this day have I had a moment of separation from the Lord, perceived separation, maybe where I felt forsaken, maybe where a thought, some inner chatter took away my peace, where I was consumed with worry. I entrust all of this to God in this moment of silence asking him to redeem it. And I listen to his words of reassurance. I heed his call for conversion of mindset, of heart. Where on this day have I perceived the hand of the Lord redeeming me, rescuing me, restoring me, healing me? It was a moment of the day where things went wrong, where I went wrong. And yet the Lord found a way to turn me around. And I'm grateful for it. I take a moment to identify this moment of redemption and the message of hope that the Lord delivers to me. And finally, I present to the Lord the person in my life for whom I am most grateful, the human person in my life, close or far, of whom I am most grateful. And why am I great, so grateful tonight for this person? I identify it and express it in silence.
The Word of God comes to us tonight from the book of Revelation, chapter 22, verse 4 and 5. They shall see him face to face and bear his name on their foreheads. The night shall be no more. They will need no light from lamps or the sun, for the Lord God shall give them light, and they shall reign forever. Allow me to put the name of Jesus under him to make it clear. They shall see Jesus face to face and bear Jesus' name on their foreheads. The night shall be no more. They will need no light no light from lamps or the sun. For the Lord God shall give them light and they shall reign forever. Into your hands, Lord, I command my spirit. Into your hands, Lord, I command my spirit. You have redeemed us, Lord God of truth. I command my spirit. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Into your hands, Lord, I command my spirit. Protect us, Lord, as we stay awake. Watch over us as we sleep. That awake we may keep watch with Christ and asleep rest in his peace. Now, Lord, now you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation, which you have prepared in the sight of every people, a light to reveal you to the nations, and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Protect us, Lord, as we stay awake. Watch over us as we sleep, that awake we may keep watch with Christ, and asleep rest in his peace. Lord, we beg you to visit the homes of those who are listening to this night prayer. Banish from these homes all the deadly power of the enemy. May your holy angels dwell in each of these homes to keep the occupants of these homes in peace. And may your blessing be upon them always. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the all-powerful Lord grant us a restful night and a peaceful death. Amen. Ave Regina Celorum, Ave Domina Angelorum, Salve Radix, Salve Porta, Ex Qua Mundo Lux Es Orta, God e Virgo Gloriosa, Super omne speciosa, vale o valde decora, et pro nobis, Christum exora. Thank you for joining me this evening. Have a wonderful night, a restful night. In a moment, for anybody who is a night owl or an insomniac, I'm going to record the Office of Readings, which is a way of staying awake with the Lord. God bless you.